Hello, I'm Simon Carr and welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, this is only going to be a very short uh, demonstration of how to set up Eclipse um, with uh, references to external applications. Um, this is actually part of um, a larger um, series of videos on using PyQt um, and the editor that I'm using is Eclipse and I mentioned in the previous video that I did in this series I was going to show you how to associate um, a window that you've created using the QT designer and these are files which end in .ui and how to associate that file in Eclipse so that when you double click it rather than opening as a um, XML file like this that it will open up the QT designer with this file in it and that means that you don't need to go into the um, QT designer and do file open and start searching through the um, folders on your system looking for a file. So it's very easy to do. Just click into Window and Preferences. And in here you want to go into General and Editors and then choose the file associations option. You're presented here with two boxes. The top one is the list of extensions which Eclipse currently recognizes and you'll see that .ui is not in there. So we need to add .ui so we click the add button and we type star.ui so anything that ends in .ui we can see that's now in there and we now need to add an editor that will um, function with that extension whenever it's double clicked so click add and by default it's shown as internal editors um, these are editors that have been installed within Eclipse but we're looking for an external program so click the external programs option at the top here it just takes a second and we want to click browse now I've, as I've mentioned in the previous video I'm actually using um, uh, WinPython so mine's installed um, on the C drive under, under WinPython but wherever you've installed um, what you want to do is that wherever you've installed um, um, your PyQt um, PyQt designer that's where you want to be going so I'm going to go into my C WinPython and here's my QT designer. I'm going to click open and see it's in here now. So I can click OK again. I'll put it in here. And see now that UI is now associated with QT designer. I can now click OK. And if I now double click on the window.ui file, we'll find that rather than opening an XML file within um, Eclipse, it now opens the sample window which we created in uh, tutorial one of this series. Okay, well that's um, that's it for this. Like I said, it was only a short um, lesson. The reason why it was so short was because it's um, it's such a general area which would help anyone using um, Eclipse whether they were doing Python work, PHP um, work or, or Java work it's a useful uh, thing to know so I thought I'd just put it as a completely separate video. If you did enjoy this video then as usual please subscribe to my YouTube channel you'll see the link down at the bottom of the screen um, and also like this video if you do like it it's, it really helps me out. Alright thanks very much bye bye